Unlike anything else on radio today, it's a front row seat for great information with today's leading experts. The millionaire maker, Hillary Kramer. And we're talking money and Hillary Kramer is with us. And Hillary, just before we were um, going to the break, you wanted to add uh, something to the discussion about uh, what, what, we're, what we're dealing with and what the future looks like. Yeah, what the future looks like is a stock market that's going to go up, right? Because the stock market... I keep saying it's a forward indicator. So it's already pricing in a recovery. So that now is the time to take a little bite and get into the market. Really, really small ones. You know, um, so many of my colleagues were very upset that they missed last week's uh, it was like, oh, five, six percent moves on, on uh, NASDAQ, Russell, S&P. But if you've noticed, uh, now we're probably back to almost about where we started with those. But we should have a nice Santa Claus rally. Uh, the market doesn't want to end the year in a bad way. No, no money manager wants to see that happening. I think we're going to see some buying coming in. So I have some good stocks that you should really be buying and starting to nibble on. Nice. And, and the word nibble, take it, take it for what it means, nibble. Which reminds me, did you know that hamsters actually eat salads? <laughs> well, I know. No, I know. I'm just telling you that because, uh, you know, as everyone knows, my beloved Elvis, uh, the elder of my four dogs, died uh, two weeks ago. And someone said, I'm, I know my condolences. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. I really don't know what it's like to have a dog, but I know what it's like to have a hamster. And I used to make the most incredible salads for my hamster. So I'm just standing there, you know, with tears in my eyes over my dog, listening to this person telling me about the incredible salads that they would make for their hamster and that leads me just when you thought I lost it right Kevin <laughs> it leads me to, if we could just spend a few minutes on the best animal pet herd stocks that there are out there because okay. it's a very important growing area for many reasons can we do that I have a sure. whole bunch for you Run let's do it really Okay, first, let me just say we've had the humanization of pets that we know that's been going on for now four to five years, of course, it accelerated. Oh, they're like people's COVID. kids. Right, exactly. So we call it the humanization of animals. But we also have uh, more viruses, unfortunately, than we have had um, the swine flus are going to be coming back, will be coming back. There's expectation of them. So I brought a few stocks. If, if people like animals and want to really have diversification in their portfolio, I have a few stocks. Depending how much money that you have in the stock market, you might want to take, let, let, let's say you keep $50,000 in the stock market. You might want to take 5000 and buy into a portfolio of really good animal um, stocks. The first one would be Zotus, ZTS. I was very skeptical when Zotus, which was a spinoff of Pfizer, came out. I thought it was just financial engineering for Pfizer shareholders to make money. But uh, the dividend yield isn't even 1% there. But uh, Zotus has actually done incredibly well. The stock um, you know, has, has fallen precipitously, 36% in the last year. So you're not buying at a high. And it's a true animal health company, not just genetic testing and research and development, but uh, all sorts of vaccines and parasites, uh, medications and dermatology and all of these specializations for livestock and pet animals across 45 countries. Wow. Uh, I highly recommend Zotus. And I always tell everyone about institutional ownership. 95% of the stock is owned institutionally. That means you're not going to have people buying and selling and jumping in and out. It's kind of the opposite of what you're going to see with a lot of crypto companies. So buy some Zotus. Over time, the stock is going to increase, you know, increasingly do better, especially after we get out of fears of recession. The next one, which I actually won an award for two years ago, because I picked of all of 150 top money managers in the country, I was number one, I picked Chewy. Chewy is C-H-W-Y. Uh, the concern was that Chewy is basically Amazon, but for pet foods, pet med medications, pet nutraceuticals, pet toys. And uh, but it really took off. It really worked because they had great marketing, great advertising, great loyalty programs. And now Chewy is forty three dollars. 
So you could have bought this. I mean, this was a ninety dollars stock in twenty twenty one, and uh, at thirty three, you know, I mean, it was as low uh, in June. It got down to about thirty three dollars, but uh, you're talking about a really good one. The other thing is, it's an eighteen billion dollar market cap. Uh, don't put it past another one. I want to recommend Petco. Woof. W O O F is the ticker symbol as a potential. W O O F. Woof. W O F. That's Petco. Chewy is C H W Y. But Woof could easily walk in and buy a company like Chewy. What's the reason why? In addition to the fact that Chewy is down in the last year 31 percent. Well, Woof is very popular because. You have the veterinarians there. You have the groomers there at uh, Petco.、Uh, you have all of the pet supplies,、um, all of the toys, all of the seasonality,、um, and, and all of the small animals for sale there. You know, you can buy a little iguana, those little baby dinosaurs,、uh, and.、Uh, so I think that you know there, there could be some real potential there. Now that being said, I know I'm going to sound a little bit foolish, but the market cap is 3.3 billion for Petco, and the 18 billion with Chewy,、uh, Petco could use Wolf could use、uh, Chewy's money to buy Chewy. <laughs> It's happened before; it'll happen again.、Um, and so, and Petco is only an $11 stock right now. Let me tell you how much it's down. It's down in the past year, 41% year to date, down 45%.、Uh, and with、uh, 1,500 pet care centers across the country, I really think that it's a really good one to own. I really like it a lot. There's other smaller ones that have come along, like Pet TQ, Pet IQ. The ticker symbol is PETQ. It's the ointments. It's a lot of the over-the-counter. Um, it's almost like the GNC、uh, mail order for for、uh, animals, but、uh, my favorite of them all—if you could only buy one, just one—it's one we've talked about before, but I still have to say it again.、Uh, we love it. Stephen Madonna loves it. Scott uh, uh, Scott Martin, Martin loves it, and it's Fibro Animal Health. Twelve dollars and thirty-four cents. Point five percent dividend yield. I mean, I'll take that one. But it's a company with a nice、uh, return on equity, almost twenty percent revenue of a billion dollars a year and a thirty-one percent gross profit margin. And yet, the stock there is down thirty-nine percent in the last year. Now, why do I love this company? Institutional ownership here is almost a hundred percent, ninety-nine point four percent. So it's not like it's a company when the market goes down, you're going to see、uh, it just get like the baby turn out with the bathwater. It's not that kind of company. Everyone who is in Fibro Animal Health, and by the way, I recently, recently in stock June, symbol, I bought oh P A H C. Buy P A H C、uh, for everything from vaccines to nutraceuticals to minerals and vitamins and all sorts of compounds for animals. And、uh, they operate in the poultry, swine, beef, and dairy. Um, an aquaculture agu- arena. So,、uh, well, everyone's having those salmon that are being made and you know be bred in swimming pools and the swine flu. You just can't go wrong with PAHC. That's my pick for the animal segment, and maybe even my pick for the night. I'll have another one for you as well. But the market cap at only five hundred million dollars. I actually think you know what we should we should get a consortium together, Kevin. We should buy Fibro Animal Health. It's profitable. It makes great money,、uh, and、uh, and it's the kind of arena that you know the trend is your friend, right? If the trend is your friend, then you want to be here because they're trying. We're trying so desperately to protect the poultry and the swine and the beef.、Um, well, the there's no doubt that、uh, animal love is at an all-time high, and people,、uh, as you were mentioning earlier, they 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 love them more than people in some situations. But anyway. If you wanted to get the entire list of、uh, Hillary's animal stocks tonight, ZTS, CHWY, WOOF, PETQ, and PAHC to round out those five. Coming right back. You never know what's next on Monday night. Stay here.